you talked about the pipeline you talked about the structure but you need to have somebody to 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 really mold them and that probably was you know no better than rahul dravid and again we talked about the emotions for virat kohli rohit sharma and others it was 2007 west indies rahul dravid probably was at his lowest ever as a as a skipper and again you know uh, so many years later holding that trophy the emotions just talk to me about the you know uh, the highlights of uh, of of rahul dravid as a head coach what what, what would you think he recently believed that you know judging a coach just purely on the results is not the right thing it's about the environment the success building connections just your thoughts on rahul dravid's tenure as a coach because he was under fire a lot of times but i think pro- probably it was the right way to end uh, you know that tenure for him as well i think uh, what i said to start of the conversation is the the platform the floor plate which the indian team has now with this victory to go on and become the best team in the world across formats now i'm not saying this as an indian who loves his country and loves his team but i think the indian team really has a uh, has a very authentic and a, a achievable opportunity of being the best team across formats by a distance now when you when you double click on why this has happened then you go back to the five years which ravi shastri was the coach and the three years which rahul dravid was the coach and and you know how they've brought about uh, this entire culture of of one team how they've channeled the right uh, players from uh, from the indian a setup into the team you know all these small things don't get spoken about uh, so rahul yeah. is right when he when you say that you can't judge a coach by the results but i would i would actually say that he's done a fantastic job because he has enabled uh, this springboard so whoever becomes the next coach has a real opportunity to put distance between india and the next team and like i said with the olympics also embracing cricket the relevance of cricket will go up across the world uh, so so the 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 responsibility or, or the expectation from an indian team Uh, will also get bigger and i think rahul has left them at uh, you know not left them as in not not relief but he has brought them to a stage uh, where where all these audacious goals look possible right uh, and that's rahul dravid for you right uh, so that brings me to the next question you're part of uh, the cac cricket advisory committee looking at uh, the next indian coach you had uh, yeah. done done uh, interviews and all it was a very you know comprehensive jd for, for the indian coach uh, what do you look in you know in 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 the ideal candidate so to speak you talked about rahul dravid the candidate and also is that the pl- blueprint you follow or is no it's not like for everyone it is different and whatever who are you interview is different yeah i, I think uh, I, i think uh, it it depends on what on where you are as a team you know so 3 years back we were in a different place as a team where we were ready to take on this mantle because it just beat in australia i think that was one of ravi's last series uh, and then rahul was taking the team uh, from there on uh, so so it it's it depends on where you are so so for me uh, you know the next three or four years the icc already has their future tours program uh, so for me it's a question of how the how is the coach going to think about this bank of players uh, this bank of amazing talent that he uh, that whoever it is will inherit uh and and then how is he going to put this bank uh and and have uh, and have the ideal flying formation beneath across test matches odis and t20s uh, how is he going to manage the workloads uh, of the bumrahs of the shamis of the world beaters uh, let's not forget that india will have two at least two great bowlers in their lineup uh, in in uh, in test matches the num- the third one is r ashwin Uh, for example so yeah. it's uh, you know so how is he going to manage these champions uh, and provide some longevity so that uh, you know th- you you reach the 2027 world cup uh, odi world cup in a position of strength you reach the 2026 world cup t20 in a position of strength and the 28 world cup uh, so so these are all the things which really uh, excite me uh, on on how that candidate is thinking uh, in terms of how is he going to manage that human capital Uh, and how is he going to strengthen that human capital for the next three or four years of his term?